Hi friends, Carrie here. Thanks for tuning in on this Facebook Live. Sorry, I'm a couple of minutes later than I said I would be. But today I'm doing a Facebook Live in place of my SSS Veda video. As you guys know, I've been doing a video every single day in August. Tomorrow is the last day, which is awesome. I'm so excited to work on some new projects, even though this has been very fun. So today, because of the fact that I'm making kind of a little bit more in-depth video for tomorrow, I thought that I would do a Facebook Live with you guys today. And then as always, I will take the Facebook Live video and upload it into YouTube. So wherever you're watching this, thanks for watching. And today I want to talk about the four pages that you must have on your website. Now, there are a lot of different pages that you could have, um, and as you're creating your website, you will work with your web designer, if you're working with one, to kind of lay out all of your website, but there are a few that are especially important, and so today I wanted to touch on those. So number one, super obvious one, is your homepage, duh, right? But I wanted to talk a little bit about why it's important for you to have a website. So a lot of people will say, oh, I don't really need a website because I have a Yelp page or because I have a Facebook page or whatever it is, wherever your platform is, you still need a website. And the reason why is because that's the only place where you really own. Facebook can go away tomorrow. It won't, but let's just say for, you know, fun. Um, YouTube could go away tomorrow. They Once you upload all of your content there, they pretty much own it and they can do whatever they want with it. The only places that you really own are your website and your email list. So you definitely want to make sure that you're downloading your email list um, all the time. This is kind of a side note, but if you're like running it through MailChimp, you never know when MailChimp might go bankrupt and just turn off their website. So you want to make sure that you're keeping an updated email list. Um, and then also a website. A homepage is just a really great base to send people to, and that's really, like I said, that's the place that you own. So you wanna make sure that you're proud of it and that it represents you well. Page number two that you must have on your website. This one also might seem kind of obvious, but a lot of people don't have it, and that's a page with your offerings. Whatever it is, a product or a service, you need to tell people how they can give you their money. You want to tell them how they can work with you, how they can buy your products, um, just some sort of sales page or course page or whatever it is. Show them how they can give you their money. So number one, homepage, number two, offerings page, and number three, a blog. And so this one is sort of debatable. Um, I have a blog page on my website, but I don't post often. And so I don't know if I'm sort of defeating the purpose, but if you want to get really serious about having an online presence, you need a blog. The biggest reason why is for SEO purposes. So if you're not familiar, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. It's basically Google combing through all of the interwebs and picking sites that they want to recommend to people when they Google you. The more you blog, Google is going to recognize that as an active website. It's going to comb through all of your blogs, pull out keywords, and be able to share that with people that are Googling. So. Another big recommendation is when you do blog, you should always put a little thing down at the bottom that says, like, Carrie Morley is an online marketing virtual assistant, and as many keywords as you can possibly fit into the blogs, the better. Because then, um, like if I'm using the words online marketing virtual assistant, if I use all those together, the more times I have that on my website, Google is gonna start saying, this person is an online marketing virtual assistant. So if somebody goes and Googles that, my website's gonna come up higher in the search engine rankings. So if you do have a blog, um, make sure that you're posting regularly so Google knows that it's active and make sure that you are including keywords that you want to be searched. And that's not always totally doable. That's why I said I really like to be able to include like a little blurb at the bottom, even if you just use the same thing over and over again so that you're getting kind of more well-known by Google. So number one, homepage, number two, offerings, number three, blog, number four, a contact page. Again, kind of an obvious one, but there are pages that don't have contact pages. So if somebody gets on your website and for somehow they miss your offerings page, they miss everything else, but they wanna work with you, you wanna have a very obvious spot that says contact, not all the way at the bottom, not like hidden in some side page, up at the top in the main menu bar contact um, so that way people can reach out to you 
And those are very quickly my four must-have pages. There are all kinds of different other pages you can have as far as like, I think about me pages are um, pretty common, pretty standard, and you should have one, but it's not like, it's not going to ruin your website if you don't. If you don't have a place to sell your stuff, to bring people to, to create SEO, and to be able to contact you, then why do you have a website? <laughs> so I really recommend those four pages. And um, leave me a comment. Tell me, do you have a website yet? Or if not, are you thinking about starting one? And if so, if you are thinking about starting one, I can talk to you about how I can help you and I would also recommend to start drafting up these pages. So I just told you the four most important pages. Start there, write out all the copy, and then either work with a web designer or just do it yourself. There are a lot of awesome websites like Squarespace um, that do, like, you can just do drag and drop. And I've known people that have created really cool websites just by themselves with no background in technical knowledge. So try it out, put those four pages on your site and let me know what happens. And tomorrow I'll be back on YouTube on my Carrie Ann's channel with my final day of VEDA, which is super exciting. But until then, don't ever let your mind stop you from having a good time. Bye.